Good day, I'm Doug Gourlay, and joining me is Mark Siri. Mark, welcome. Thank you, Doug, glad to be here. So we're here at Interop today, and we just wanted to have you know, a quick update on some of the things that you see going on from your perspective out there in the rest of the show. So from a, a sort of a business perspective, what are the big trends you see? Well, I think in the equipment market, uh, we're looking at the potential of consolidation in the future, obviously. You have uh, two major forces. One is the, the force that you're very much involved in driving, and that's the consolidation of storage networks and uh, Ethernet LAN networks. So iSCSI and fiber channel over Ethernet working together kind of thing. Exactly, in whatever you know, form that you know, pans out, and we can talk about the various options there. But at the end of the day, you have the potential of um, equipment companies that are now competing in different markets, obviously competing in the same market, and that could lead to consolidation. So when you say consolidate, we're talking about like the consolidation of, of different companies then. Exactly. Now, why would that be? Uh, because you have too many uh, companies going after the same marketplace. So you have two forces coming together at once, and that is the storage vendors and the uh, traditional LAN networking vendors coming together. But also, uh, as that happens, it puts further pressure on all those companies that are currently competing with Cisco in the LAN space that are all focused on that best of breed niche. And that, that, uh, they can't all survive as all these different companies come together in one marketplace. What about disruptive technology? Is there anything you've seen, um, whether from Cisco or anybody else out there, that's just you think is going to change the game that other people are still trying to grasp with how to react to? If there was a way to make fiber channel or everything that happened you know, very quickly, uh, that would be disruptive. If the various forces, including competitive forces, can slow down that transition over a period of two or three years, then perhaps not so disruptive. But if it can happen quickly, that would be disruptive. I think this uh, cabling technology, the SFP plus CU, the, the twin oh, the X, yeah. I think that has some very interesting uh, possibilities. Did, did, did that one catch people unawares, you think? Or? Oh, absolutely, I, I think so. I mean, people have been using the terminology of SFP plus to talk about fiber optic cabling. So they didn't quite click, you know, immediately for a lot of people that, you know, this was a copper option that you're providing. So what about, 10, gig, what about 10 gig base T though? I mean, do you see the twin X versus 10, I mean, is there a role for both or? I think there is a role for both. I think um, where, where the twin X come in, it, obviously if you have this rapid transition to top of rack um, architectures, because that's what it's really optimized yeah. for. Is there anything you've seen out there from any other companies that really gets it for you, that's really cool? Is there any, like, if there's one thing you could highlight that, I saw this company and they had, and it was just neat. What was that? I think um, we're seeing a resurgence in, a, a refresh and a resurgence in different types of product architecture and concepts. So at the high end, we're seeing a lot of people um, announcing big switches at the same time. So you've got this refresh cycle. Well, Mark, that's, that's interesting. So let's, let's talk about, the, I mean, there's a quick wrap up then for the audience out there. What we've got is, you know, Mark was saying fiber channel over ethernet is a disruptive technology, twin X. There's some new products coming from a variety of vendors this year at Interop. You know, I believe that Cisco is well positioned within that, but you know, we always have to keep an eye out to what's happening in the industry. So Mark Siri from Ovamar HK. Mark, thank you for nice your time. Nice to talk to you, Doug. Bye-bye.